Listen up, gym rats. Are you having trouble reaching your fitness goals? Are you looking to up your one rep max, accelerate your cardiovascular, run a marathon, lose that extra holiday weight? Do you want to sculpt your glutes, obliques, and traps? This isn't going to do any of that shit. This is a cologne. This makes you smell good. This right here is going to make it so that if you happen to be working out next to your gym crush, if you're wearing this and you smell great, they're going to be focusing a whole lot more on your form and how you look. If you want all that other stuff, don't look to a fragrance to help you out. I don't know. Eat clean, train hard, hire a fitness coach. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well and stinking pretty. Emphasis on the stinking pretty, more to the point, emphasis on not smelling like a wildebeest when you are sweating your ass off, getting your gym time in. I love gym scents. The main thing for me about gym fragrances is that I don't want them to last a whole hell of a lot of time. I mean, honestly, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. One or two hours is kind of where it's at. Chances are, if you're like most people, you're gonna wind up washing it off uh, in the shower afterwards, or if you're gonna swap out your clothes to some different clothes for the day. Chances are, when you put that fragrance on your skin, it's gonna sweat off onto your gym clothes and you're gonna swap those out. So you're pretty much losing that fragrance anyway. And that's kind of the way that I like it. I like to have my fragrance for the gym, get me in the mood, get me pepped up spirit-wise, but then after a couple hours, that's it. So I'm bringing to your attention what could quite possibly be, in my opinion, the best gym frag out there. Let me introduce you to Cremo Bourbon and Oak. Cremo to me is a really, really great company. I use quite a few of their, uh, their grooming products. During the times that I actually do grow a beard like this, uh, I like to use their beard conditioner and softener. Uh, and then I also like to use their beard oil, which if I am not growing a beard, I use it as a pre-shave oil. So when I saw bourbon and oak on the shelf, I snagged it. Literally cost me less than 20 bucks. This is a 100 mil bottle. Total blind buy, but I brought it home and honestly, now I love it. I'm one of those people that I'm, I kind of don't go the route that most people do. If you are not into the played out blue fragrances for the gym, or if you don't want just citric centric phrase fragrances for the gym, you know, orange, lemon, lime, all that stuff, then this is a huge option. For me, I like something that's got some airiness to it, but I also like having a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice, a little bit of a woody nuance. Bourbon and Oak has all of that in spades. On the side of the box, what's listed is distiller's spice, single cask bourbon, and white oak. Though you won't be getting like a huge share of a bunch of different notes, this is pretty, pretty simple. And it is pretty linear, which I do love, but there is more than just those three things. There definitely is some nice spice. I get kind of like an airy ginger, something that lifts, something that elevates. There is some nice sweet vanilla, and obviously you have kind of this uh, amber wood accord. It presents itself more in the background, but it definitely has a nice little dryness to it. For me, I get that bourbon for sure, the booziness, but it comes off more like a bay rum, sort of like those old school bay rum scents. I'm, but I'm getting some greenness out of this as well, just a hint of greenness. Nothing overpowering, but it does kind of add a nice little element. Now this is not an all day frag, like I said before. Perfect for the gym, or even if you're a type of person that likes to have a car scent, this is really great too. But for me, this just is no brainer for the gym. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on something like, you know, a Fragrance Dubois or a Roja Dove or a Parfums de Marly or a Creed and wear that to the gym. I mean, come on, I'm blue collar AF. There is no way that I'm taking those expensive fragrances and putting them on at the gym. So if you're at all like me and you don't want the blue, you don't want the C notes, you don't want the, the citruses, you want something that's a little sweeter, a little drier, a little woodier, to give you that pep when you're working out. Cremo, bourbon and oak. Real short review for you guys. I hope that you found it useful and I hope you can get your noses on this. Like I said, less than 20 bucks at the uh, local Target. Kind of a no risk fragrance. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope that you're having a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. And I hope that you're taking care of yourselves 
and each other, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, no matter whether you're lifting heavy or you're scrapping out that cardio. Don't forget to keep calm, stink pretty, and I'll see you on the next one. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my s boy. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my s OP boy. Day we hustle, but the night we OP boy. Know that the ride or die, I'm a OP boy. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my s boy.